G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a bloody assault rifle with VATS criticals doing 50% more damage and 25% less VATS action point cost per shot. Um, yeah, this thing is obviously going to be extremely potent in VATS, so we're going to be using it basically exclusively in that. Yay, we don't have to aim, it should be an easy run. Anyways, powerful auto receiver on this true long barrel, true stock for hip fire accuracy. Again, we won't be using anything like ground pounder because this thing reloads fast enough, and tank killer will help us boost our damage a little bit more through the use of armor penetration anyway, and armor penetration will be further augmented by the perforating magazine, reflex sight, and suppressor for VAT usage and stealth, respectively. 37 damage. Let's go ahead and chuck on some perks to boost that further. Automatic weapons are boosted by a commander, obviously, so we'll chuck three of those bad boys on. And we'll also chuck on a bloody mess. Now, instead of serendipity, we've got a, a suppressed automatic rifle, so we probably could get away without using something like that. So we're going to chuck on critical savvy. That'll help us get our crits back quicker, which allows us to do a little bit more damage. And covert operative of Mr. Sandman will be used together to boost our snake criticals by heaps. And with all of those things, we get 68 damage, which is not really impressive at all, but we'll get ourselves into Nerd Rage and we'll see how we go from there. Okay, so no to that health bar down there, we are well under the 20% health threshold, and we get to 11 damage, much, much better. Also, the hair, look, it's a bun, it's curled up, and we got it because we killed too many Scorch Beasts, I guess. There's a person over there. Cool, let's get started. Hey look, there's a Scorch Beast Queen. I'm gonna shoot at it just to see how we go. Alright, good good so far. We've missed 90% of our shots. That's better. You see, Concentrated Fire is doing quite well here. And I might have to actually change up my perks. Hold on a second. Okay, never forget to change your perks back after you've actually had a little bit of crafting of ammo. Okay, so apparently no one's decided to actually cripple the bastard, so we'll just quickly chuck on Tormentor so it'll drop to the ground. It still bog it still baffles me sometimes that people don't know how to cripple the monster or whatever, so just make sure you take out both of its wings and she'll be on the ground quicker than you can say, fuck this game and its bugs. So yeah. There she goes, she's down on the ground already, and now all of the grognacks can get started. So we'll just quickly target the face again, hold down the crit button, and then we'll let her rip. And you get fairly decent DPS out of this thing, I suppose. And if we're not getting the, um, the bat shots, we'll just make sure we keep our distance from everything else. And we can pick up a little bit of extra damage with adrenaline. Might as well do that, actually. We have gotten detected at this point, but that's okay. We're just quickly going to stack some adrenaline. Someone's with a cryolator. Very good tactics there. It'll slow it down very nicely. We're back into caution now. The game's not actually going to tell us, nor is it going to tell us whether we're getting sneak attack criticals, but no matter. We'll just go ahead and hit her some more. Face is crippled once again. She's about to take off if we don't cripple her wings. There goes one. Oops, had the other one for a second. Take out the right wing. A little bit stronger, apparently. That's not a political joke either, that's just uh, an observation. No, wrong monster. Never mind, we've got barely any AP, so we'll just continue to shoot her like this. I think I've seen an enemy creature just there. Let me just uh, shoot at that. Make sure I get some sort of legendary out of this, if not from the queen itself, from something else. So as you can tell, the damage is solid. We are in danger yet again. Ooh, we'll back into caution for a second there. Thank you, escape artist, that I was a little bit... I decided to run off a little bit. Okay, back into caution. As you can tell, damage much, much better now. So we'll move in a little bit closer so we aren't penalized by our suppressor's range. And we'll continue to shoot at it. We should be getting around in Nerd Rage threshold now. I deliberately started this fight just above because, well, there's obviously going to be radiation damage that you take during this fight. She's still slowed down despite not having the chilled thing attached to her, which is kind of good. We're almost there now. Ah, yes, someone's still shooting with a cryolator. Very nice. Someone must be countering up that with a flame or some sort of weapon that produces a lot of heat. Almost there. Some more crit spamming later will have her done. So it's been a pretty solid effort by this particular team. Um, don't walk in front of me whilst I am that thing. That's very annoying, dude. And there we go. We get our shit from her, which is... Yes, it's, it's garbage this time. We even get a Gatling Plasma for our troubles. You contain... Yeah, you contain things like fiber optics, which are useful in creating and um, making 
laser gun mod, so we'll pick you up. And I saw that death claw, and people would get cross at me if I decided not to um, show what I got from that, so I'm gonna find it. That's garbage. And just a one star switchblade. That's a kick in the teeth. Okay, let's get started against the super mutants. And here are my buffs and also all unyielding armor like usual. Very, very good. Let's get started. Now, this weapon is just. It's a VATS weapon, so what we'll do is barely aim ourselves, and, you know, since we've got that safety net of having the game aim for us, and all we have to do is hold down the space bar, which is the crit button on PC, and uh, press down mouse button 1, well, we can make sure, well, we can grab a little bit more damage out of this thing by making sure the crits happen faster with critical savvy instead of... Um, what's it called, serendipity that I usually use, and as you can tell, it's it's had an effective start there. 288 damage, very good. That's glowing for some reason, weird. So this should probably be one of the more cruisy runs I have of the Super Mutants, because if I'm hitting them for over 2000 damage with the VATS critical, or whatever I'm hitting them for without, well... We're not going to have many problems here in terms of damage, are we? Uh, we'll start to see it a little bit... Well, the problems a little bit if we actually... Well, we can actually shoot them and one-shot them without vats. Okay, this is going to be easy. And you might notice how I've got a 3.75 times sneak attack multiplier. That's simply because I've put on... Um, What's it called? Mr. Sandman, and then I've put on Covert Operative, and the way they stack is kind of weird, but it actually gives you so much more bonus damage compared to just having, um, you know, Covert Operative alone. You get 3.5 if you don't chuck on uh, Mr. Sandman first, so you're getting only an, ex an extra um, 0.25 in the sneak attack critical, but, you know, as multipliers work, the higher you go, the more returns you get for the power of your weapons, and as you can tell, not having any problems, and I don't think I'll have to go full auto for this particular one at all, if, you know, if I don't get spotted, so that's pretty good, so we'll try to keep on this semi-auto run using a powerful auto receiver. Uh, you know, you could probably say that I could get even more damage per bullet with this thing and it wouldn't matter too much in terms of, um, you know, how it's performing in here. If I chucked on something like a hardened receiver, I'll be getting even better um, damage per bullet and I won't have to worry about possibly um, firing a shot that I don't need to since I'm holding down the trigger. But honestly, I prefer the DPS and the versatility of having an automatic weapon, especially when you've got something like concentrated fire. You can much more quickly actually gain the extra accuracy that you need to quickly get the shots on when you've got this thing running in full order. And those crit damage, you know, more bullets going down range means more criticals, and it's not too fast either, so you can actually make... You, Vats will actually work a little bit better because if the weapon fires too fast, it just happens to miss a lot of the time. It's, just, it's kind of weird. I think it's bugged, but... Regardless, 75 sits in the nice sweet spot of not too fast, not too slow, where you get half decent DPS, but you can also um, get away with um, holding down the trigger and vats and you know, switching targets with gun fu and easily taking them out there. And um, this is probably one of the more, more efficient assault rifles I've ever used because the super mutants that do carry assault rifles usually drop between 5 and 7 bullets, which I'm only using one, so I'm getting a return of 4 to six bullets every time I shoot a super mutant with an assault rifle, which is sustainable in terms of, um, you know, not having to craft ammo, which is all very nice and good. So we'll quickly finish off the rest of these guys. I think I've been pretty thorough this time. If we don't drop out of um, caution right away after killing the rest of these blokes up here, then I would have missed something, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing at this point at least with this place, and there's the last one, hopefully. All done. All right. Yep, just like I predicted, a very cruisy run indeed. We've definitely got the power when it comes to this weapon, and the power and we have used very well. Also, yeah, there's a new hairstyle bun because we killed a bunch of Scorch Beasts. 
Okay, hopefully we'll have a little more success actually using a suppressed rifle here than a melee weapon because the ghouls tend to get on top of you very easily if you can't dispatch them at range. Okay, looks like we've summoned a ghoul out from nothing. So, yeah, we're off to a start here. And just like before, I mean, I'm going to use vats here because, I mean, this weapon's got good legendary effects for it. But as you can tell, even though we get ourselves into these positions where it's completely dangerous, the fact that we can just keep our distance is going to be valuable to our survival. It's actually two three-star weapons in a row, which is neato. And uh, what I'll do is I'll chuck another grenade down there. And uh, we'll try to get a bunch of ghouls happening at once so we can actually show off um, this place when the ghouls are coming at me at full pelt, which apparently I can't because even when I try to be unstealthy, I'm too stealthy. Oh, okay, apparently these were um, Michael Jackson's backup dancers in Thriller because they do a killer moonwalk down the stairs. You ever notice how ghouls just, you know, chuck on the reverse gear and clam down stuff sometimes? It's like they always got to be facing you, like some sort of doom sprites, and they'll just reverse down shit if they need to be looking at you. Alright, so we are in danger now. The pressure has been put on us, but nothing that the assault rifle can't handle. The fact that you can reload it, the fact, oh, I mean, reload it as quick as you do, it's just a simple, like, less than a second reload. And the amount of bullets in it isn't great, but it's enough to deal with 10 or so ghouls if you're accurate enough, which is very good. I'll just throw another plasma grenade in here just to check out what's around. Alright, usually there's a bunch coming at me from this particular site, which I don't like this ramp because you will get stuck right here. This little bit of terrain here will stop you in your tracks if you approach it from a certain angle, which is a big no-no, bad. So like I was talking about uh, yesterday, sometimes it's advantageous fighting ghouls at the White Springs because you won't get yourself jammed on those things, but you know... If you're in a situation where you're being chased by multiple feral ghoulies, um, that can actually let you get hit a few times, which is not really ideal, especially if you're running a build at this health because they'll punch you and radiation damage will happen. That grenade was unnecessary because we are so totally done. And the assault rifle of the bloodied crit damage and also less vats is fucking hit rate. You know what I'm talking about. It has succeeded here immensely. Very nice. Alright, this swan kill should be a piece of piss, and it was. Shut up, swan. Give me my lurks, or give me death. Also, remember to sneak too. That, that's pretty handy if you do that. Pop a new mag in, and we'll just start picking them off from up here. There was just the two, apparently. No, there's another one. He's not really awake, that little dude, but that's okay. We'll get another one of those plasma grenades downrange, and we'll summon the queen... Maybe another one. Okay, as it turns out, it already spawned, so here it is. Come on, game. I've, if I've got 95% accuracy, I shouldn't be missing. Oh, well, at least we've got some cave crickets for our trouble, right? Including a three-star one, which I'm, I will intentionally not loot on screen. Because, one, that I'm dead, but also it'll annoy people. And also, I've got this bug. Mmm... Okay, another Scorched Earth is on, and you bet your tits that I'm going to be down here again. Hey, remember when I said that I wouldn't do it again because people kept pinching my loot? Well, I guess I lied, didn't I? Whoops. Oh, well. Let's all just... Ooh. Okay, so unlike last time, I'm getting the 3.5 times sneak multipliers, I, I think. Am I? I can't really tell. I've def It's on the same server, so I ought to be. So we're just going to have to wait until she lands. Actually, what I'm... Okay, there, there it is. We're getting the multipliers, but I'm going to have to pull off Critical Savvy because none of these numpties actually know that you ought to actually cripple it. Some people think it's by chance. No, you can directly influence the behavior. That one might have been by chance, perhaps, but it's much easier just to knock out the wings entirely and then she ain't going to be moving. Okay. So that'll probably push us into Nerd Rage at this point. We'll go for those headshots. Almost hitting her for 400 per shot, which is very potent against the Scorch Beast Queen, yes. So, yeah. Bet you didn't expect me to double up on this shit. Ah, there's another Death Claw. Um, should probably take him out. 
I mean, they are teddy bears, but, you know, if you leave them alone... That one wasn't even scorched. I don't know what his deal was. Ow, stop doing that. We still are in caution despite all of that nonsense, so we'll, we'll try to take out our wings with a little bit of cheeky hip fire. Like I said, um, we, we got a true barrel in stock to tighten that up if need be. Alright, you ain't getting up anytime soon. We'll find a noggin once more. And then we'll hold down the space bar and fire until we're out of bullets, which it will be soon, to be honest. My No, I'm still in caution. Just not nailing the sneak crits like I ought to be. Unless it's just not telling me anymore. All right, we're officially out at this point, so we'll just hit her in the bum, because it's, uh, it's so hilarious, right? Um, get a little bit of damage on that queen just to soak up some XP. And this is kind of how it's going to go. I'm just going to keep on shooting it. It's going to keep on acting weird. That was a little too close. Oh, okay, it was attacking Bomber Mitch instead. See, this is why you kind of want to run a sneak thing against a queen, because even though everything else is aggroing it, unlike other enemies, you can still... Don't you fucking dare block my line of sight. Yeah, unlike other things, a Scorch Beast Queen seems to be okay with you. What am I being killed by? Is that Milurk spawn killing me? Probably. Anyways, regardless of that, that extra adrenaline damage, which I've kind of neglected now, is going to allow us to get an easy finisher on this Scorch Beast. I'm pretty sure I heard... That's, that's not a bear. Hey, look, the, the corpses are right next to each other. That's nice. Alright, what did you give us? A Berserker's Baseball Bat. Did we steal that from a Muton? Hey, look, it's a... Shit. Oh, Bomber Mitch, what a good man. That's actually a pretty damn good Berserker's thing, so... You know, people have been asking me, where is it? Well, I don't, I don't really like the prefix, to be honest, but, uh... Might be convinced that way. Yeah, no, no Scorch Beast, no baby Scorch Beast. We double it up on the Queens, so I'm gonna stop. I actually got a Hunter's Assaultron Blade, which is not that, thank you, game. Where is it? Ooh, that's what they call scriptware. And to quickly finish off, we'll just kill some of these Scorch things, because we haven't killed enough of these yet, have we? No, surely not. So... Summing up my thoughts on this thing, because I really haven't been able to do that, it's been an, an awesome weapon to use. Again, special thanks to BRB Cats on Fire for actually lending me this piece. It has been a blast to use, and although it's not hitting for quite as hard as a handmade, I think I've demonstrated in this gameplay that even if you did have this thing and maybe had just a one-star bloodied handmade, you could probably, um, you know figure out that this is probably the superior option. I mean, a hand made with the same legendary attributes is going to just completely blow this out of the water, but, you know, this thing is actually really, really powerful, as you can tell with that. So anyways, um, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, you'd have to hit up BRB, because it's going straight back to her once I'm done with this thing. Thank you for letting me use it, and, um, yeah, the, the bun looks pretty cool, I guess. Not really Winter's style. You usually see Winter's here. She's always got that elegant hairstyle, I think it's called that, and her ears look kind of weird, I don't think I made them right. Anyways, yep, that's enough for me. Thank you for watching, guys.